So sticks and stones may break my bones. <laughs> Well, mate, that escalated quickly, right? That got, you probably watch this going, what the f did I just watch? <laughs> now, this is actually a Mindset Monday. So, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will ruin your life. So, what we're trying to showcase in this video is well, basically sticks and stones can break, right? And break yeah, your bones. They, they don't always break your bones, as you can see. We're yeah. hard Scotsmen, sticks never break our bones. Um, but they can. But bones heal. Names are the ones that really can cut deep. Mostly because everybody has an element of self-doubt. Even the most confident people have self-doubt. And when you have someone confirming something that... I think it hits home harder if you were already thinking it yourself and someone says it to you, you know? And suddenly you're like, oh no, they've noticed it too. I was right. I know myself better than anyone. And now other people have noticed it, so they must be right. And now they're going to hate yourself forever. Do you know what the main problem is also? If you break a bone, it's going, to, it's going to hurt, it's going to take about six weeks to heal as long as you allow it to do so. Your body has this amazing ability to heal. Give it six weeks, your bone will be as good as new, if not stronger. You'll come back stronger because your body's had that physical stress and therefore it heals it but much stronger than before. The problem with names, and this is names that you call yourself, names that other people call you, it hurts but you're unaware of it the damage that it's doing to you long term therefore you don't go through a recovery process in fact you actually make it worse most of the time you take these names and whether negative or positive a lot of people own that name so when you're younger you might be called 
lazy or grumpy or moody or shy. So shy is one of the yeah. ones that I certainly got a lot when I was younger. And to this day, I'm still battling it because I went through so many years of being the shy kid. Yeah, Stevie's a shy boy. Um, but as soon as you own the name, it's like, oh, that must be me, this is who I am. It's an identity. You don't know the damage it's doing, therefore you don't go through that recovery process. So be aware of the names that people are using for you or the names you're using for yourself, like I am or you are. So often, again, this can be positive or negative, often we give ourselves these identities. I am shy, I am lazy, I am optimistic all the time. You know, whatever um, comes after I am often becomes your reality. So just be very conscious of those words. I am or you are or Rab is awesome. You can own things, things like that. You can own the positives. But if there is a negative, then if someone's called you that negative, work really hard internally to overcome it. So if someone said, you are um, a geek. Now, geeks are cool now, right? But yeah, geeks you're are a popular. geek, and at the time it's hurting your feelings, just say, no, I'm a, I'm a new age individual that likes playing with toys. Yeah, and reading and comic books. Or collecting toys, you know. Um, own it, turn it into a positive and then convince yourself that that is what you are. Something that you don't have an issue with, basically. If it's something that you want to be, put a smile on your face and just say, that's right, I am. Yeah. If well, it's a negative, just say, no, sometimes, like, for me to get over the shyness, it's the case of, I was once a shy boy, mm -hmm. that's not me, or I portrayed shy um, habits, but that's not who I am. Or sometimes I act like a geek, but that doesn't mean I am a geek, although I am a geek. <laughs> <laughs> no. He is a geek. On the weekends, I definitely act like a geek, but that's how you're switching that around. And by switching it, you say, yeah, yeah, it's okay to act like a geek. It's okay to act like a dick now and again as well. Well, some people, especially him. <laughs> but you don't want to be a dick. You just, you can act like a dick now and again because everybody does, right? Absolutely. So, just be very conscious of the names that you're calling yourself and others are calling you, even loved ones. Uh, they can mean well, but they can ruin you for life. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will last a lifetime. So today we're going to London. We thought we'd show you how to stay healthy while travelling. Boom. A cricket tackle.